Let's test something, shall we, quickly? Possibly the next upcoming game. Uh, Sega Saturn emulation. Well, that's something that's new for the channel, isn't it? Deep Fear. Yes. Yes. Uh, yesterday, I wrapped up recording Hard Edge, so that's all done. And uh, a game that's been on the, the list for, well, many years. Deep Fear. Um, yes, first time using Sega Saturn emulation. Uh, <laughs> let's give it a test, shall we? Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. Wow, we don't want to see too much because this is just going to be like a few minutes of test footage. See if it records okay, basically. Um, now I'm using a 8-bit do M30 control pad here, which is basically a wireless Sega Saturn controller. So we should be good there. Now this emulator is a bit weird. It's called um, Defin or something. Um, there's no UI, no interface. The only thing you have with it is if you push F1, you've got a list of commands that you can do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and to run a ROM, you literally drop you pick up the ROM and drop it on the uh, executable for the emulator. So there, yeah, it's, it's uh, as basic as it comes. Um, but you know, people say it's pretty good. So let's go new game. Let's see, there's no enhancements or anything that you can add to the emulation. As far as I know, it is what it is and that's fine. So Deep Fear, this is this was Sega's attempt basically at a Resident Evil style um, survival horror game, I guess. And apparently it's not bad. Very hard to get hold of now. We're gonna skip all this. We'll we'll watch all this when we actually record it, if we can record it. Oh my, here's us. So using a essentially Sega master system controller to play something that looks kind of like a playstation 1 game is interesting now the mechanic with this game is we have air uh, because we're this is completely set underwater which is actually a really interesting dynamic um a doesn't do a lot b if we hold down b we run c is not doing much x x brings up our inventory okay so we have a resuscitation kit excellent and an air grenade Nice, nice. I'm gonna say it again because I know someone will ask. Um, this is a test, okay? This isn't a full playthrough. We're just testing the emulator here. Air grenade, an A97 grenade with compressed air. It restores a given amount of air to a room. Okay, that's, that's gonna be a fun mechanic. I can already tell that's gonna be a fun mechanic. So how do we exit? So B is to exit. I never had a Sega Saturn. It's like the one we've obtained a, a first aid kit. I had a friend that had one, but a picture of Stella. But we never really played with it. Um, I always wanted one, but they were very expensive. The fireproof suit for the ERS. Okay, Can we do anything with this doodad over here. Oh, it's a save game thing. Uh, I did play this, like, ages ago, um, trying to get this to work, but literally, uh, I did next to nothing on it. I don't even know where we're going, what I'm doing. I tried about four emulators, no, wait, hang on, uh, I tried three emulators, uh, before I found this one that worked. I was basically ready to just give up on Sega, that an emulation and possibly thinking about buying one and all the needed adapters and stuff like that but the trouble with ooh, we've got rooms here the trouble with sega saturn it's du bois room the door is locked okay the trouble with uh the sega saturn games is they are extraordinarily expensive the deck it says no admittance without permission right now, I did get some limited success uh, with another emulator. The only trouble is we were playing as a floating head. 
and the sound just didn't work at all. It was really crumbly and grainy and just weird. I like the way the game tells us what room we're in. If there's anything to find. It looks like the C button is your... You've attained the report on freeze and preservation of humans. Uh, so you're going to have files. Wouldn't be a survival horror game without files. Yeah, uh, I tried all sorts of settings. I just couldn't get it to work properly. Do we have like a map? Oh, right. If we push start, we have this weapon. So we have weapons. We ha oh, we do have a map. Oh, my. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's not great either. I mean, I, I guess we have something resembling a map. Fine. And, um, yeah, so B is, B seems to be back. We have options here. Uh, we want to, I guess we'll keep all this stuff on. Bullet. Enemy search. I don't know what that means. I'm sure we're going to find out. Right, okay, well. A to, uh, or C to open doors, B is back, and A is unknown. We also have shoulder buttons. Okay, so if we tap uh, the left button, it brings up where we are. Right button doesn't do much. Z throws an air grenade? Y takes us straight into the map. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, not a huge fan of the map, actually. Seems to tell us roughly, like... Oh, God. Okay. Seems to tell us where we are. <clears throat> ah, the ill-gotten Sega Saturn. Had some really good games on it. Really good game library. Such a shame that, um, you know, Sega seems to release the same handful of games over and over and over again. Um, but they never really release anything from like the Sega Saturn or the Dreamcast. We've had one Dreamcast collection, um, which was full of, which was pretty mediocre if you ask me. Um, we don't get any like Master System collections. We, we get nothing. We just get literally the same handful of shitty old ROMs. I mean, they're good games. Of course they're good games, you know. There's a reason they keep selling them, but there's a billion ways to play them. You know. It's the Weapon Locker. They never re-release anything different. Air Regulator. I mean, this seems to be working okay. I don't think we've got any way of, like, fast-forwarding the game or anything like we do on some of the other emulators. Which is a shame. I kind of like that. Um, backspace. Oh, we can rewind and enable save state or state rewinding. That's interesting. Input grabbing? I don't even know what that is. We can soft reset. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it really is a very basic emulator. I'm not sure where we're going or what we're supposed to be doing. We're just having a little bit of an explore. Gee. Oh. Evening. Captain on deck. Pre-rendered scenes are alright. They're not bad. Oh, God. Did you forget it's April Fool's Day? You, you know, we don't have time for these fun and games. Sorry, Chief. The mood around the big table had been kind of stuffy lately. So, I had to play a joke before going crazy. What do you mean, stuffy? You were just transferred here a week ago. So, you may not have noticed, but it's been especially stuffy lately. The army people have been really uptight. Releasing Navy Area Arm. Switch off Seafrog's automatic pilot system and adjust the blast. Roger. 
Seabox automatic pilot system off. Seabox play ball. This time mermaids may be waiting for you. Yeah, I wish. If only they were real mermaids. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, oh. What? Yeah, what definitely. Hey, stop! Seafox, do you read me? Seafox, what's wrong? Hmm. Wow, the voice acting is extraordinarily terrible. Which is good. There's a big submarine called Sea Fox. I'm guessing that's bad. Well, it looks like she held up pretty well. Kind of. Attention, please. Would ERS Don Mayer immediately report to the CCD area deck group? I repeat, would ERS Don Chief, Don I think Mayer they need you. That one is an emergency call. I wonder what happened. I'd better go. <laughs> uh oh. Are we sick? Hey, Chief, you got a cold? You can <clears throat> say that. John, take care of yourself. Thanks. <laughs> Have you got a cold? You could say that. Well, you know, it's yes or no, really. Okay, awful stuff. But deliciously awful stuff, you know? The animation is not too bad at all. Kind of reminds me of when I was playing uh, Hard Edge. I haven't finished uploading. Oh, that takes us back up here. Interesting. Yeah, when I was playing Hard Edge, um, I was quite surprised that the characters actually had fingers. That was interesting. Can't think of too many um, PlayStation 1 games where the characters actually have fingers. Apartment area. Gate is locked. Okay, so we need to go upstairs somehow, but I don't really know how we go upstairs. Uh, so... Okay. One thing I do like is the controller. <laughs> I really like this controller. It's nice. It's not overly complicated. And they don't try to... They, so far, at least, they're not putting 600,000 uh, actions onto one button, which is nice. Oh, hello. Mayor, we've got a serious situation. What's the problem? A while ago, the Sea Fox, which was just getting ready to depart, crashed into the Navy area. Crashed? What happened? We don't know yet. I asked Dubois, the designer, to come too. Oh, there's no problem with my Sea Fox system. No, I should have come. Fuck. We can't get through on the wireless to either the, the Sea Fox or the Navy. The fuck was that? Area. We have no idea what's going on over there. This is terrible. My masterpiece <laughs> is ruined. It is terrible. What are the rescue force has been contacted, what the but they can't make it was for a while. That? Do you want the ERS to go in? The Navy area is top secret and out of your jurisdiction. We don't have a choice. I want the ERS to go check it out in a little bit. Oh my We're god. We're ready to leave any time. Dubois, the Navy area diagram. The Navy area has an emergency pool which you can come out of. First, the fuck accent is that? This is the top priority. Next. Move the oh, area and connect it to the big cable. Sweet. Jesus. Fine. I'll give this to you. <sighs> the Navy area level one key. Get ready right away. Right. I'll do my best. Yeah. I don't want any word of this leaking out. There are civilians here. We don't want to start a panic. Understood. All right. I think on that note, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh... Let's push F5. Oh. So that's state zero saved. State zero loaded. We're pushing all sorts of weird things here, guys. Okay, we can just go back with that. 
So is there different save slots we can have? I don't know. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a rather magical experience together, isn't it? I think so. Uh, it appears to be working so far, I guess. It is a two-disc thing, so we're going to see how that works. But I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Anyway, this game is going to be a, quite a way away from being uploaded yet. This is just a test. We've still got uh, Hard Edge to finish. Uh, that's 14 parts, I believe. So anyway, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Um, this is, this is going to be something rather special, I think. <laughs> Till next time, guys.